Switch up your plain white rice for some Instant Pot Coconut Rice. Just a touch of sweet and a rich creamy flavor. It's a perfect side dish to serve alongside your favorite protein. I'll teach you how, so stick around. Aloha my kako, my name is Rel and welcome to my kitchen where I like to share all my favorite Hawaiian and local recipes. You know, growing up in Hawaii, sticky white rice is life. You eat it with everything, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and it was always the yellow bag. Did you have the yellow bag growing up too? We still buy that kind today. But sometimes you want to switch things up and that's where this recipe comes in handy. Today we'll be making some instant pot coconut rice. You can make it in the rice pot, you can make it on the stove, totally up to you. But the instant pot makes it nice where you kind of can just dump everything in and cook, you know, whatever else is for dinner and it'll be ready. So let's get started. I'd like to mahalo Foodland Hawaii for sponsoring this video. As always, thoughts and opinions are my own. Okay, like I mentioned, regular yellow bag white rice is the type of rice that I eat and choose. Today we'll be using jasmine rice. And to be quite honest, I did not like jasmine rice growing up. It's like a longer grain. It has a distinct smell to it. And I have a really good friend, shout out to Shannon. She absolutely loves jasmine rice. And every time we go over there, I'm like, really? That's the kind of rice you made? But anyway, that's the rice you'll use. If you can't find jasmine or you don't like it, long grain rice is perfectly fine. So we're gonna go ahead and put the Instant Pot on keep warm. Do you have to do this? Nope, totally don't have to, but it'll It'll start heating up quicker so while I'm talking it'll get going. You're gonna take the lid off. I always like, mm -hmm. hi, yes, we're ready. Thank you for telling me. There's a little um, knob here and you can put that in this part and it holds the lid up. Super awesome, but can't see in the camera. We'll take that off. Instant Pot on keep warm. So the jasmine rice, you're gonna wanna rinse it. Easiest way, have your kids do it if you want to. You can put it in like a strainer and just run the water over it. When the water runs clear on the bottom, it's not gonna be completely clear ever, but it'll start to look milky at first and then run clear. That's where you want it. So this has already been rinsed um, and drained. So you'll put that into the Instant Pot and see it, it that's why it sticks because it was rinsed. And then with coconut rice, normally you would do all water if you're doing regular rice, but with coconut rice, I do half, half. You could do all, but I feel like for me, it's a little bit too rich if I do, if you do it that way. So I like to do it like this. So one cup of jasmine rice, three fourths cup of water, pour that in. All the recipe instructions and ingredients will be in the description box below. I also have a blog post. You can check it out and learn more about it. And then we're gonna use my Ka'i Organic Coconut Milk. So this is Foodland's brand, my Ka'i. And they have a ton of different products, but today we're featuring the coconut milk. You can find this in the not coconut milk aisle, but they have like the rest of, like the almond milk and all that other stuff. So this will be in there at your local food land. So check it out. I like to shake it up. So I do half, half, right? So three fourths of that. So we'll do three fourths cup of this too. If you like it, see, you can start to see it kind of smoking already because it's, um, <laughs> sorry about that. That was my child. <laughs> When you work from home, <laughs> you have the kids, you kind of just go with it. So, you know, if you hear noises in the back, don't mind. That's my kid. Is he eating lunch and <laughs> hopefully not falling off the chair. Anyway, three fourths cup. So coconut milk is thicker than water, right? And if you want to make sure you shake the can up. So that goes into the instant pot. I like, so this is unsweetened. If you buy they don't sell unsweetened my cut. You just, I mean, sweetened, kidding. But if for whatever reason you do this with a different type of coconut milk and it's sweetened, skip this part. But I like to add a little bit of sugar. So this is a tablespoon. You can add less, add more. So put that in. And then to combat the sugar and bring that flavor out, I also put a little bit of salt, fourth teaspoon or so. And then you'll want to mix it up. So just a wooden spoon, a spatula, whatever you want. And you wanna try and get the rice to be spread out. So see how the liquid completely covers the rice like that? We wanna make sure it's covered because if there's, if you just like have a mound in the middle, it won't cook through nicely. Now, 
coconut rice goes so good with like mahi mahi with like a mango salsa you can put it in like a curry dish that you have like i had a seafood curry dish that was super ono but anyway okay so lid is gonna go on instant pot lid you hear Anyway, do that. You're gonna set it to ceiling. Now you're gonna hit keep warm, cancel. That's gonna turn off that function. Remember I said you don't have to have that on, but it's gonna turn it off. And then what I like to do is just use the rice function. Super easy. It's already preset. So I have a six quart instant pot dual. If you have the eight quart, you'll have more than enough space. If you have the six quart, uh, excuse me, the three quart, this will fit as well. You can cook a whole lot more or less, totally up to you. You just hit the rice setting. It's automatically set for 12 minutes. That'll cook through. Then you'll let it natural pressure release for 10 minutes. We'll fluff it up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So, so good. All right, so we've let it natural pressure release for 20 minutes. The pin will probably drop before it's done. If for whatever reason it hasn't dropped, you totally can move the vent from sealing to venting and that'll let out the rest of the steam and the pressure. But like I said, ours already dropped, so. I just like that. And then it'll look like that. And remember, you can always hang it up over here, but. Anywho, so now you really wanna like fluff the rice, right? And fluff the rice basically just means everything kind of settled. So you'll just give it a fluff like this. And you see how it's nice and fluffy and you can smell the yummy coconut and that jasmine rice. Jasmine rice just has that particular scent. Anywho, <laughs> I said anywho a lot, huh? So put that into the bowl. You can put like cilantro over this. And like I said, I really like it with like a panko crusted macadamia nut, mahi mahi. I have a recipe for that. Check out the link in the description box below, or you can check out this one up here. And then like a mango salsa. That's my, like my favorite. I know I said that earlier, but if you like this recipe and you want to check out other rice recipes, then check out this video here. And until next time, uh, hui ho! Thank you for watching my mommy's video. You have? What are you doing? I, know, I have my French foot. Okay. There you go. Water is key. Water is life. When you try to record a YouTube video with your children at home, this is what happens. They decide they're thirsty right now. Come on. Don't spill. Spill. Bless me.